there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. crime wave was sweeping the country. First, in San Francisco, a man's hat was stolen, along with his toupee. Hey! Then there was the theft of the apple pies in Pennsylvania. Ah, my apple pies into thin air already is vanishing yet. Then, the missing laundry in Texas. Yes, Maybell. I had the cleanest, brightest, widest wash you ever saw. Just look at me. It's gone. Next, at a ball game in New York. It's a high top fly. Catches under it. But wait, the ball's not coming down. It's gone. The catcher's rubbing his eyes. He can't believe it. Where did it go? And gradually the robberies got bigger and bigger. There was the case of the Georgia peaches, an entire orchard. One day it was full of peaches. I tell you, that's the finest crop of peaches in the whole state. But the very next morning... Gone. Gone every peach in the place. Those peaches just vanished into thin air. Well, right now, this crime wave has gone far enough. Sure, and it's plain as day, it's the work of one master criminal. I want him stopped. Now get out there and find him. Ooh, ooh. Gee, Francis, it's kind of spooky, huh? It's, it's mysterious, all right. Oh, no, no, no telling where he's going to strike next. Ooh, Francis! Yeah? What do you want? Uh, say, uh, why are we going up in the air? What do you mean? Why are we... Hey! We are going up. Ooh, ooh, hey, hey, ooh. Ah, sure now, and it's too much for the likes of me. When police cars start disappearing, it's time to call underdog. It's true, friends. A crime wave is gripping the country. Police are baffled. A call has gone out for underdog. He is the only one who can stop this crime wave now. Oh, underdog, wherever you are, come and help us. And humble, lovable Shoeshine heard the call and instantly dropped what he was doing and disappeared around the corner into the nearest telephone booth. When crime sweeps the country, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. No need to fear. Underdog is here. Here, me. I was robbed half hour ago. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. So were the robbers. Here and gone. I never even saw them. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. You're too late, Underdog. They cleaned me out. And so it went all across the country. Underdog, moving with the speed of light, went hither and yon, east and west, north and south, in pursuit of the criminals. But always he was too late. Conditions are getting worse, viewers. The mighty Underdog has not been able to catch these criminals. Where do they come from? And where do they go? Who is behind all this? But... Even as sweet Polly asked these questions, high in a mountain castle, there was one who knew all the answers. <laughs> who or what is it? 
For months, the Klondike country had been terrorized by the most notorious of all bandits, Savoir Faire. Savoir Faire has stolen my dinner. He's stolen my bonbons. Uh, he's stolen my cheeses. Savoir, Savoir Faire, Faire is everywhere. Is everywhere. Major Miner, in charge of all the Klondike cops at Fort Frazzle, made a drastic announcement. We must call upon the one Klondike cop who always gets his mouth. Klondike Cat. <laughs> How I hate to leave them. This lovely bunch of bananas. And tomorrow, they'll be made into a beautiful banana cream pie. That's why you must guard them, Klondike. You just go ahead and see the governor, Major Miner. I'll take care of that bunch of bananas. I know I can depend on you, Klondike. And be sure to watch out for savoir faire. <laughs> Why, if that mouse so much as comes near this house, I'll... What in the world is that noise in the kitchen? Is there somebody out there in the kitchen? <laughs> Oh, no, Monsieur Klondike Cat. There is no one here. Well, it's a good thing, because if there was... Uh-oh! Oh! Uh, good day, Monsieur Klondike. again. Perhaps now I can use the banana peels. I'm going to get you, Savoir Faire! Savoir Faire is everywhere. You will never catch me, Clonda Cat. So I won't catch you, huh? Well, now you're cornered. Put up your hands or I shall shoot. <laughs> That's not a gun. It's a, it's a banana. <laughs> if I can't catch that mouse, I'll trick that mouse with this dynamite. The dynamite are going to make the most beautiful bunch of bananas Savoir Bear has ever seen. <laughs> Only just wait till he tries to eat one. <laughs> ah, now to enjoy the bananas, as the bananas should be enjoyed. A meal fit for Savoir Bear. Mm. Sacre bleu. What is that? A bunch of bananas even larger than this one. <laughs> Truly, this is my lucky day. <laughs> it's his lucky day, all right. Lucky like kaboom! <laughs> Aha! Caught you, Savoir Fair. You shall never have my bananas. Wait, Major! You don't want those bananas, Major. Let Savoir Fair have I agree. Klondike, you must have fallen on your head. Of course I want my bananas. But you don't understand, Major Miner. They're not bananas. They're dynamite. Dynamite? Dynamite? That's what I've been trying to say. These are sticks of dynamite. The fuse is going to go off any second. Any, any, any... Klondike Cat always gets his mouse. And sometimes gets his major. Deep in the forest grows a tall, tall tree. 
And of course, it was a short tree, but it uh, grew. And down at the bottom of that tree, there's a little old box. It's really the home of Mr. Wizard the Lizard. <laughs> yeah? Who's that? It's Tooter the Turtle, Mr. Wizard. I got another favor to ask. Come in, come in, my boy. <laughs> What is it you're wishing for today? Well, Mr. Wizard, what I really want to be is one of them big game hunters going on safaris and all. Oh, but Tudor, that's a very dangerous business. Men that goes on safaris need skill and courage, and above all experience they need to track through the jungle. Oh, please, Mr. Wizard, uh, just this once. <laughs> ah, very well, Tudor. But be careful what you do. The first thing that the big game hunter needs is the outfit. For this, he goes to the outfitters. First comes the boots, which must fit very well, for the trail is rough. Next comes the bush coat, which is loose so the body can move freely. Then the pith helmet, with the wide brim to keep out the sun. And finally, it's out in the jungle the brave hunter goes. Sometimes even the greatest hunters get tired and have to rest. <sighs> well, uh, this looks like a comfortable log. Do you think I'll just set a spell and rest? See, uh, this old log is as uh, slippery as a snake. Uh, snake? No! After traveling all day, the big game hunter would pick out the clearing and make camp. Hmm. I figure it's 50 miles to the next clearing. I'll just camp here. He pitched the tent quickly and easily, his years of experience making his moves always easy and perfect. Hey, let's see here now. Uh, tie a rope bar between uh, trees A and B. Mm -hmm. They uh, don't seem to have a mark on uh, this jungle. Well, uh, just pick these two there. Uh, next, uh, pick up uh, tent T and uh, throw over rope R. <laughs> Boy. It sure gets dark in a hurry around here. Once the tent is pitched, the brave hunter goes to bed and sleeps soundly. The noises of the jungle are music to the ears, and he sleeps like the baby. Sometimes the hunter was supposed to bring them back alive and would build a big trap to catch the animals. First, he dug a deep hole. Then the clever hunter would cover the hole with branches to fool the big animals. Then, when the big animals walked across, they would fall through. So, uh, that's mighty peculiar. I guess I made the trap too strong. One thing the mighty hunter needed was the knowledge of wildlife and the habits of the animals. Oh, now, uh, he's right cute. <laughs> here, kitty kitty, here, kitty. Uh, poor little kitty, are you lost, eh? Oh, uh, you my yeah. The big game hunter must be the expert tracker. It takes the sharp eye and the cool head to follow the tracks of the crafty wild animals. Uh, here's a crafty, clever animal. Uh, thinks he's going to fool me by walking on his hands. Hey, no, no fair. Uh, I was doing right good up to now, and, uh, and where'd he go? Wherever the trail led, the brave big game hunter followed. No attention to the danger did he pay. Along the cliff, over the bridge, and sometimes when the bridges was out, the rushing river had to be crossed on foot. Then it was the wise hunter who kept the sharp eye out for the hungry crocodile. Help, Mr. Wizard! The crocodiles are coming! Help! Mm, well, once again, dressle, 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 drum. Time for this one to come home. Uh, gee, Mr. Wizard, it looks like I made a mess out of things again. <laughs> always, always, I tell you, Tudor, be just what you is, not what you is not. Folks, what you is, has the happiest lot.
A series of mysterious robberies had baffled the police and underdog. Little did they know that it all started at Belfry Castle. <laughs> the home of Batty Man. <laughs> the whole country is in panic. They've locked up everything and doubled the guards everywhere. But I'll show them that nothing stops Batty Man. Georgie? <laughs> yes, Batty Man? Call our friends. I have another job for them to do. Gee, Batty Man, with everything locked up tight, it will be very difficult. Yes, but it will be good practice for our friends. Call them. Very well, Batty Man. <laughs> And as the horn echoed around the mountain peaks, Batty Man's friends answered the call, and the sky was soon filled with giant bats, hundreds, thousands. My friends, I have another task for you. Are all the extra locks on, Sam? Yes, sir, and the guards doubled. Good. This is one bank nobody is going to rob. Only way they could get in is through that air vent way up there. And you'd have to be a, a bird to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, good night. Beautifully done. Now for my master plan. But, Patty Man, what about Underdog? Good thinking, Georgie. Right now, he is so tired from chasing us around the country that he must be very weak. I lure him here and capture him. And here we are at the scene of the latest mysterious crime, viewers. All the money in the bank was stolen last night, and no one knows how it was done. And now... This is Sweet Polly Purebred returning you to the studio. Ah! Help, underdog! Help, help! Ah! Help, help, underdog! That's right. Call underdog. And far away, our weary, dog-tired hero heard and headed for the sound of Sweet Polly's cries. When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. Tired as I am, I have to go. Here he comes. I think that weakened him enough. Let him in. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. On guard, Underdog. Ready for my master plan. What is Batty Man's master plan? How can he be stopped? Is Underdog through? 